As you will probably know by now, the next room in Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Empire, is scheduled to come out in the later quarter of this year. It looks as if it's going to be officially announced at E3 2017, if not in the coming months. There has been many supposed leaks of this game, none of which have been officially confirmed by Ubisoft since the January of 2017. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the rumoured details that have built up regarding Assassin's Creed Empire. Obviously, a widely known rumour is that the game will be set in Egypt, hence the codename Empire. I believe this to be true, as it has been such a popular setting for so long in the franchise, and Ubisoft have not shut down the hype surrounding the setting, therefore it must be real. Either that, or Ubisoft are going to disappoint thousands of people with a different setting. I know I'd rather not have the latter. The game will also be a prequel to the whole series in terms of the Ancestors story, the modern day will continue its current path. The game will also include a new engine and climbing mechanics to complement the world that Ubisoft have created. Like any other Assassin's Creed game, this one will have a new Ancestor who is believed to be a former slave that doesn't have a lot of dialogue. Although I believe that this would be a terrible idea because most of the greatest protagonists win us over with their charm or wisdom. A mute would not be a good way to go in terms of a main character, but a stoic would suit just fine, perhaps like Altair. Speaking of Altair, the main character is apparently the distant ancestor of Altair, which would be cool, meaning that he would have an extremely high concentration of fursive DNA, possibly even higher than Altair himself. In terms of the gameplay, the new assassin is also rumoured to be able to ride horses, sail boats, and control a pet eagle, which sounds completely ridiculous in my opinion. It would feel much too gimmicky to me, and I'll stick with eagle vision if you don't mind. Something that is astonishing is that the map of Assassin's Creed Empire is almost three times larger than Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which means that there will be plenty of room for cities and plenty of activities. If Ubisoft actually adds stuff to the open world, opposed to making a huge open world with little to do in it, there will also be a range of dry desert weather and desert mirages. I also believe that playable modern day will be back in Assassin's Creed Empire, because in a Reddit AMA with Amar Azazia, someone asked, Will we see either or both a return of a modern day protagonist and a strong modern day storyline? Assassin's Creed's head of content replied with a smiley face. Now I know that this may not seem much at all, but if we weren't seeing a return of the things mentioned, he would have outright denied it. I feel as if he's teasing that there will be a return of the old style of modern day with a playable character's story arc. Empire is also being developed by the team responsible for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and the game is apparently going to feature a Witcher 3 feel, with leveling, player progression, and a freeform combat system. They also want to focus heavily on personal experience to the player through side quest story building. This could mean that we see a ton of side quests in the game that further the feel of the game's world and characters. Games recently like Horizon Zero Dawn and games like The Witcher 3 have both done this amazingly and make a great player experience. Also Assassin's Creed 4 had a great personal feel to it where you could kind of build your own stories and plunder loads of ships and there was a lot of side quests in the game that improved your experience and I would not be surprised if the team that developed Black Flag wanted to take this a step further by adding loads of side quests into the game to add to the world a whole lot more. People also believe that this next game will be the first of a new trilogy with the same characters, much like the fan favourite Ezio trilogy. It's possible that we could see Greece as a part of the setting in the installment after Empire. Ezio was a phenomenal character and I'd love to see another character be loved as much as he is in the franchise. And that is everything, I kind of just wanted to round up the main most important details that we think are most feasible in the next Assassin's Creed game. I want to just apologise for not uploading much recently. I have had like no motivation because as you all may know the revenue on YouTube has dropped a lot due to a bunch of companies pulling out of advertisements on the site and this means revenue has dropped by like 40 to 60 60% and it's, it's really really bad. I know it's not about the money, obviously I'm going to continue to upload even if the revenue is down, but the money is a huge motivator. When you see a video, get loads of views and you get a bunch of money from it, it feels really good and to not really get rewarded as much as you were before for making videos, it's kind of a huge demotivator, but don't worry guys, I'll still be uploading as much as I can. But the reason why I haven't been doing it as much recently is just because I'm demotivated and that's literally it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content in the future. And also remember to comment down in the comment section below and tell me what you want in the next Assassin's Creed game. And I will see you guys in the next video.